Stay tuned for the planet Earth's most relevant newscast. Broadcasting from Sector 17G of the Milky Way Galaxy, we present you a program that is a strange combination of newsworthy and non-newsworthy. Funny at times and extremely non-funny at others. Ladies and gentlemen, Earthlings and Lunars, we present to you, Delma Live. to episode 47 of Veilmount Live. It's October 14th in the year of our Lord, 2010. You know what that means. Time to get your Christmas lights down. After this time next week, no sense taking them down. If you've got an uncomfortable feeling in your stomach, don't fret. It's just gas. It will pass. I'm Anne-Marie Scott. And I'm Jody Newham. Tonight, Zach presents his expose on fall colors. Niagara Falls loses, we win. Meet Harmeet Singh. Grab a pen, gentlemen. She's young, beautiful, and giving out her phone number. Also, two new films from the Gulf Island Film School. A doc called We All Have to Eat. And a drama starring hometown hero Andrew McCracken. We also ride along with some tourists into Veilmount's Heart of Darkness. Veilmount. We had an epic show last week. And we'd like to thank everyone that was a part of it. We received some feedback. Some people were offended. McBride's not really a place. So are they going to lump us in with the knuckle-dragging Neanderthals? Is economic development really a thing? A new study by Paul Blaze leaves us unsure. Can old people do stuff? The only difference between sexist pigs and bacon is a trip to the abattoir. If you were offended at last week's show, then... We've got just the thing. Just a side note, litigation is totally overrated. Oh, it costs so much to sue these days. So here's a segment inspired by our lawyer, Rick Coverbutt. According to BC Geographical Names, McBride is actually a place. Turns out it's even listed on some maps. So we're sorry about that. And while we're on it, I said something about knuckle-dragging Neanderthals. That wasn't cool. No. We got a lot of calls. Also, economic development really is a thing. This was weird. It's in dictionaries. Apparently, it is the generation of wealth through the development of industry. I hadn't come across it. So, just a couple more and we'll be all clear. Old people can do stuff. They absolutely can. Finally, last week we suggested that the only difference between a sexist pig and bacon was a trip to the abattoir. That's just embarrassing. Totally my mistake. Well, I think that's it. To everyone we offended, we're, we're sorry. sorry. Deeply sorry. Now to the news. The Rocky Mountain Goat recently took on some cheap help. Harmeet Singh is an intern with the young newspaper who hails from Niagara Falls, Ontario. She's pretty, young, and intelligent. Why is she slumming at an obscure community newspaper? I know. Shouldn't she be in medicine or law? Indian parents provide, like, zero direction. Veilmount, meet Harmeet Singh. Why did you come here? Uh, because I couldn't get a job anywhere else. I wanted to move to BC from Ontario, and there was an opportunity here. It's a little problematic for me because I know the image BC has in the rest of Canada. Smoke a lot of drugs? <laughs> what else? I think community journalism is really important, and I think before you can really cover big issues, I think you need to learn how to dig for a story in a rural area. Small town journalism. I mean, how do you teach these people anything, really? I don't even know. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> so you made a comment earlier about um, digging for stories. Um, digging for stories in a small town can be likened to shooting fish in a barrel. Why is it important to write stories that exclusively boost the morale of the community? Well, I don't know this community super well yet, but I know that 
I think that people need to know what's going on, what what interesting things people are doing. Because the problem is, especially here, people have told me a lot of the young people are moving and leaving. And I mean, you can't really build a community and keep people interested unless you know what's going on. I see. So you're a journalist who believes in the dissemination of information. Yes, I am. <laughs> Why journalism? I don't have to be stuck in one box, which is kind of nice. And I like to learn about a lot of different things, but I didn't like one thing specifically enough to pursue it. Although I think my parents would have liked me to be a doctor, maybe a lawyer. They're still holding out for law school. Dad, I'm not going to law school. I'm sorry. <laughs> What is the real reason that you came to Vailmount? Um, I need to find a husband and I'm into the guys who do forestry, firefighters perhaps, old men, definitely into that. So definitely looking for a husband. If you're interested, call me. Awesome. Awesome. Which, uh, we have a new segment coming up, actually. It's, um, uh, Celebrity Dating. Oh, excellent. In Belmont. Amazing. Are you a celebrity? First of all, how long have you been in town? Six days. Six fabulous days. Best six days of my life. Of my long, long life. What has struck you, then? to make them the best six days of your life? Uh, I've been getting a lot of free meals. I need food. Okay. And everything here tastes better. It's really good. Wow, wow. Why do you think it tastes better? What is that about? I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's like organic or I don't know. Maybe everything in Ontario just has like, I don't know, diseases or chemicals. Tell me about Niagara Falls, the city. So, lots of people there. <laughs> not really, just compared to here. <laughs> like, I'm not sure that I, I, I've got a good sense of where Niagara Falls um, is. Are there any features around there that I would recognize, or of any major geographical, like here we have the mountains? We're like, we're just north of the United States. Right on. So of that America? should help. Of yeah, of yeah, America. yeah, of course, yes. Okay. Um, you, you interned at some other places as well, besides. I did. Yeah. I have. I've interned at a magazine called University Fairs. Really good magazine. Very like niche market. So that was fun. Got to do a lot of stories about cool professors and PhD students doing interesting things. Uh, like veterinary oncology. That was a good story. Wow. Yeah, that's a thing. Dog cancer. Yes. Yeah. Actually the headline was when kitty gets cancer, which Wow, that plays Sounds both ways. Terrible. That's awful. Yeah. And then I did some stuff with Global, Global National, Parliamentary Bureau in Ottawa. Lots of political reporting. Um, it's mostly research, what I was doing, but I got to go to the question period and sit in the press gallery. Very close to all the politicians. Close enough to throw a pen at Stephen Harper's head. But I was kind of debating if I could get out in time. Probably not. I'm not a very fast runner and I'm really uncoordinated. There's a lot of stairs in Parliament, so I probably would have fallen and broken something. What did that teach you about Canada? Um, well, that Canadian journalism is kind of falling apart at the seams, to be totally honest. Uh, okay, that's a lie. And tell me about it. There's some really good journalism out there, but I think people are losing confidence in it. They don't know what to think anymore because I'm trying to articulate this properly. Just tell them. I mean, you're a journalist. It's your job. If they don't know what to think, I know. I step tell people in. what to think. I do. They should just think the way I do because then the world would be a much better place. Clearly. There are good journalists out there. Yeah. I will throw that out there. Yeah. I'm one of them. I'm probably one of the best. It's like me and Peter Mansbridge, maybe. What do you hope your legacy in Vailmont will be? Um, well, I hope to personally offend every person here at least once. Oh, yeah, I feel terrible. Like that. 
it's not funny at all. Oh, don't put that in there. That's awful. <laughs> Please don't make everyone in this town hate me. How could she say those things? I liked her at first. The Sass Bay development in beautiful downtown Valmount is finally complete. It took longer than planned, but it's so much more than we ever thought. We rode along with a family from Texas to see their first impression. Oh, Mama, are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're almost there, honey. You excited? Yeah. Yeah, me too. You gotta take a left up here. This, this is, is Sass Bay! to the burned out house now. Let's save that for tomorrow. Don't rich people have lawyers? Moving along. Zachary Schneider turned the lens on himself this week. The battle-hardened correspondent shows his gentler side. Hi, this is Zachary Schneider. You may know me as your foreign correspondent, but I also like to take pictures of autumn things. And I didn't have to go far to take these pictures. You may recognize many of these pictures in my slideshow as they were taken around Belmont. There were many colorful flowers and leaves on a clear blue day. Even something as simple as a train crossing can be a great picture. Take a look around next time you are out and notice all the wonderful possible pictures.